Today, we're diving into the future of Pokemon and a boxing of Paradox Rift ETB. In this video, we have the future form ETB to see how many new Pokemon we can find from Area Zero. Now, we'll also be giving away an ETB of your choice, so make sure to keep on watching on details how to enter, and let's go ahead and get on into it. Now, it's a new Pokemon set, so you know we had to get our hands on this ETB. We got ourselves both, but as stated earlier, we're going to be opening up the future form to see how many new Pokemon we can find. Now, as you can see, we also are going to have that beautiful promo card right here. Haven't actually heard too much about the set so far, so it's going to be a fun experience for not just me, but you the viewers as well. Let's waste no more time and crack it right open. I have had zero to no research at all on this set so far. So let's look at the player's guide and see what type of cards we can actually find within the set itself. Now right here, we have a couple of the cards as you can see on the bottom right. The background on the Iron Moth card was pretty nice, but let's see what's on the second page. There's actually a bunch of beautiful cards as you can see on these two pages. The main two that kind of stick out for me are the plus one minus illustration rares. Now we have a couple more illustration rares and a ton of full art cards on this page. I really love the Iron Jugulus and also the Iron Valiant EX full art. On this next page over here we then have some more full art trainers and then we also have a couple special illustration rares. None of them I can say really stick out to me other than the iron hands, but on the very last page we have our gold cards for the set as well. Now that we've seen the cards, let's see what's inside. First up we have ourselves the damage counters, then we have ourselves the dice of course as always with a nice tie dye on them, and then we have ourselves the deck of energy cards. Going into the deck dividers, they are double sided, so that's the first side. And on the second side, same design, but more zoomed out. And then we have ourselves the card sleeves. And of course, we have ourselves the packs, nine packs in total. And going into the beautiful promo card that we do also get. It's an iron bundle card. I would have actually loved to pull it in the set itself, but that it's guaranteed with every ETB, can't complain off of that. Now let's go ahead and dive on into our very first pack of the set itself. And for our very first pack of the brand new set, we do have the Garchomp Terraform as the artwork on front of that pack right there. As we dive into this pack, of course, we're going to go ahead and if I can at least get it open, we're going to go ahead and give you the code card. Make sure that you do use the code card and if you've used it, let us know what you get from these packs right here. We will be giving away most of our code cards and we'll save some for ourselves as well. Starting off with the Metal Energy, going into a Total School, and then a Toxel, nice little clay artwork on that Toxel right there. Spinda with the Moon on the top left, and then we have ourselves a Nimble going into... Okay, these cards are a little stuck, so please forgive me um, for pausing on the first couple ones, but we'll go ahead and get used to it after going through a couple more, as you can see, once again. And going to our first slot, looks like we don't get anything there. But can we get a first hit in our first pack? And it's nothing but a hollow card. But as you can see, it is the ancient form. As you can see on the right side of the card, it has kind of like a little sandy doom um, effect going on to it. It's a very nice card. I would say it has a little bit of a different look than a regular hollow card. So that's a nice card to start off the video. Let's go ahead and try this one, opening it up from the bottom because it was quite tough on the last one to open it up right from the top. Um, once again, we will go ahead and see if we can actually pull a future form card just pulled the past form card in that past pack so we're starting things right right off perfectly now i wouldn't say that I necessarily do have myself a chase card of the set out of all the cards that you've actually seen in the player guide or that you've seen from other videos go ahead and let me know down in the comments what's your chase card of the set with the brand new set there comes with that new excitement with brand new cards to explore so as we go into this one nothing in the first slot and looks like nothing in the second slot as well so let's go ahead and get on to pack number three. Hopefully we get back to some better luck as we open up this pack right here. Going back to uh, what I was saying just earlier, I don't necessarily do have a chase card, but there's a couple cards that wouldn't mind if I were to pull. Iron Hands EX Illustration Rare or Special Illustration Rare is probably one of the cards that is up there um, on top of my list. And the other cards are actually just gonna be some regular illustration rares that I'm actually hunting after. It would probably have to be the plus one minus um, and also the Groudon. Those are probably the numbered or top tier cards that I am hunting for in the set itself, but nothing really that I'm dying to go after. But who knows, once I pull some more packs like this one, nothing there and nothing in the last slot, but another hollow card, we might change our ideas or things on how we stand on the set itself so far. This is actually probably one of the first times that I haven't really done too much research on a set. 
So I'm kind of going into it blindly, other than the cards that we've seen earlier on the player's guide. Uh, so I'm not really too sure what I can expect from it. It's not something that I'm really too excited about, um, but it might change as stated. Over time of opening of packs, your opinions tend to change once you start pulling some hitters, or if you go on a dry spell and you don't pull nothing at all. Now right here we have ourselves a Nicket going into just a trainer card right there. Um, a Wug Trio, that's one of the new Pokemons that is in the new gallery, um, or the new region I should say. A future card right there, not a Pokemon, but it still is a future card. Nothing in the first slot, and looks like we also don't get anything in the second slot right there. Hopefully we get some better luck on the next pack. Now this new set, Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift, is actually inspired from the new Paradox forms that Pokemon can take in the new Pokemon games, Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet. There was a couple mixed opinions when the game first came out, but after a while, it actually kind of grew on me. So I was waiting for them to be introduced into the TCG, and they finally are here with Paradox Form. Now not all the Pokemon that you can pull in the game, or catch in the game, are actually in this set just yet. I'm assuming they're going to roll them out little by little, starting off with this set right here, Paradox Form. And as we go into this pack right here, let's see if we can actually pull something from the first slot. And, oh, nothing there, but I think I did see something in the back. And we do get ourselves an EX card. We'll take it. It's not a big hitter, but it's still a hit. So we'll go ahead and take that and lead on to the next pack. And hopefully we get something better on this one right here. As always, just want to take the time to thank every single one of you viewers for supporting my channel so far. Whether you're subscribed or not subscribed just yet, I support every single one of you for taking your time to take a look and staying here with us to open up these packs. So now let's go ahead and give you guys a code card, small appreciation right there, and crack on into the pack itself. Starting off with the Fire Energy, going into a Gligar, a Blimp Bug, then going into a Fuecoco, I believe that was like Icicles or so in the, around it, a Stedini, going into a counter catcher and these cards are a little stuck oh look at that beautiful absolute artwork i really like that artwork right there and let's see if we can pull something in the first slot and we don't pull anything there right behind here and nothing but another hollow card we really do got to get another hit as the etb has been treating us quite badly so far our past couple etbs have actually been straight straight heat but this one has actually been pretty down so far other than the beautiful promo card we got at the very beginning of the video, we've only pulled, I believe, just one hit so far, which is an EX card. So let's turn things around. And as we are opening up this pack, I want to go ahead and give the time to say that we also are announcing our giveaway winner. I'll go ahead and announce the winner down in the comments for last month's giveaway. And I'll still make sure to comment on this comment that did win the video itself so that you also are aware. I'll go ahead and reach out to you um, via the comments and email and then I will send over the pack or the ETB of the Pokemon 151 over to you. After this pack right here, which we do get ourselves a beautiful legendary holo, I will go ahead and tell you details on how you can enter the brand new giveaway for the month of November. So if you're not aware already, we do do monthly giveaways here on the channel. And for this month, we will be giving away one Paradox Forum ETB. You can either select, if you're the winner, you can either select the past form ETB or the future form ETB. We're unboxing the future form ETB to see if we can actually pull any hits right here. And I'll be unboxing a past form ETB in a future video. All you need to do to be automatically entered into our monthly giveaway is make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and also make sure you comment down below. This question for the video will probably be what's your chase card of the set? So make sure to comment down below what's your chase card or just go ahead and drop any comment you want to be automatically entered. All you have to do is just comment and any video for the month of November, you'll then automatically be entered into the giveaway to win yourself a Paradox Rift ETB. So eight packs down and we're on to pack number nine, which is officially the very last pack of the ETB. Have not pulled any hits so far or extreme hits I should say other than just that EX card. So we need a pretty big hit right here to make this ETB worth it. Now, of course, it is a brand new set, so the packs already are worth it themselves since we got to explore some of the brand new cards and some of the brand new Pokemon, but we still would like to end this video off with a banger or a pretty big hit. So as we dive on in to this pack right here, we're gonna be getting close to that first slot right here. And let's go ahead and see, right behind here, we should have our very first and nothing there. Can we end it off with a bang? And it's a Terra EX card. We'll go ahead and take it. Not what we were looking for, but we'll take that. So here's gonna be our recap, which is gonna be quite quickly. Um, as you can see, we only have a couple hits and the promo card. 
And as we look into these cards right here, just want to let you know that make sure to stay tuned because on our next video, which will be coming out soon as well, we will be posting a ETB opening of the past form. Other than that, make sure to click on one of these two videos right here to enjoy more content. And that should be pretty much it for now. I'll go ahead and I'll catch you on the next one.